I know her. Who is she? That's an anemone flower. <laughs> yes. That's an anemone. I'm going to lay it on me. And this is a Michelle anemone. Yes. <laughs> I, um, I'm going to start my own YouTube channel where I'm going to be doing rock painting. <laughs> and I already know about your sneaky anemone flower. <laughs> because I told you her <laughs> Because you scared, shared your sketch fab with me. But I don't remember seeing that stem. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know why you wouldn't. Oh, but I did want to ask um, the viewers, and you and mom, <laughs> <laughs> um, if you had any name ideas for my channel before I create it. Oh. It's going to be about rocks. I'm Shell. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> huh. Rocks, painting, cool, but like a short name. Short, catchy, flashy, fun. Shell rocks. And then it's like a double entendre. Hmm. No? I don't know. Yes? I just feel like, is that too um, easy that <laughs> it'll already be taken, too? Ooh. So it's got to be original. I need lots of ideas. And if I don't take it, it's not because I didn't want to. I, I've already tried just, you know, my classic Shell My Bell. <laughs> shell My Rock. <laughs> Do it. I'll, I'll look around. But it's like, if you add numbers, like, I don't want no numbers. Ooh. I don't want any numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Who huh. am I? I don't know. <laughs> Your shell of rock. So give it some thoughts, folks. <clears throat> let us know in the comments. Yeah. Also, in the comments, let me know what other flowers you want to see me model. Because this was a suggestion from a commenter. I'll put their name in the um, title of this video with, like, exclamation marks. Nice. <laughs> But yeah, anemone. I think I've got it down by this point, but it, um, I didn't know when I started this, I think I was using anemone and anemone pretty interchangeably, because it's hard to remember. But a reason that I thought that I knew it is because in Finding Nemo, it's a joke at one point that he struggles to remember what it's called or just struggles to pronounce it. And I always thought that was funny because I was like, I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> oh, no. But it's just like, I, I think I got confused because, okay. This is a reach, but on Tumblr, maybe like a decade ago, <laughs> there was this one video that was just like going around of this person who made like a rhyming video and it went like anemone, an enemy's anatomy, da -da 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 -da, and it like, it went on and on. She had a lot of rhymes and I, so it's like, I always remembered it as rhyming with an enemy. So I always thought that's how it was supposed to be. An enemy. Hmm. An enemy's anatomy. <laughs> Yeah, I I learned it from the kids' five-minute storybook. There's a Mickey Mouse one where they were like, don't step on the tide pools because there's anemones in it. And it, it got me to look at that word. <laughs> and I'm like, why is it an anemone if that's the way it's spelled? And I looked it up, it's like, oh, it's not. Here I am, my 30-year-old self, and I've been saying anemone all my life. <sighs> And I thought I was right. <laughs> wow. If you were 30, then we, maybe it's just the thing. A passage of maturity. It's a good <clears throat> indicator. Mm -hmm. If you say an enemy still, you're not 30 yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think my favorite part of this flower is the weird little leaves. Ah, oh, dang, I'm not focusing on them anymore. <laughs> well, I'll get, when I get to the leaves again, you'll see. They're just, they're so funny. They look like weird little fingers. It's like, um, there's another reach. <laughs> it's like salad fingers. <laughs> Oh dear. Was there, did he have a full name? Or was it just Salad Fingers? I don't know. Hmm. I don't, I don't remember enough. If, if anyone knows, um, just comment and tell me all about it. I'd love to know. <laughs> they have a lot of jobs this week. <laughs> <laughs> comment yeah. if you think this is too many jobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is such an interesting um, setup for your. Like, I have total faith in you because you make beautiful things, but it's like, Whoa. what an interesting process. It's like pancakes with a little square of butter. Mmm. Okay. And it's going to turn into a flower. Twill. It's just... Do you ever just, like, look at your beginning stage and, like, how is this going to be what it is? <clears throat> yeah, I like, I like the beginning stage. It's just... Because I always know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll always get there. Except, you know, sometimes I stop at the beginning stage for too long. I started making a jellyfish recently, and I lost interest in it. And oh, now no. it's always going to be at the beginning stage. Oh. So. But it's like, at this point, like when it... Oh. Oh, you see, it's like, okay, I can see a flower coming in I shape I always there. believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. I want you to make a jellyfish flower. I don't even know. Maybe that would make it interesting. Yeah, make pretend flowers. Yeah, I, I've been th 
think <laughs> you would think it's some thought because you had once compared uh, an aspect of my flowers to like it looked like a bun and so I was thinking I should just do that it's kind of like Alice in Wonderland like food as flowers I, that would be the choreopsis yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> would be you studying my flowers <laughs> so, yeah food is flowers but I don't really have any um in the works at the moment i'm like make seriously make a jellyfish flower surprise me yeah i think i should with it's, like really long tentacles off the petals like ooh. can you imagine that'd be so fun yeah i mean it won't be a surprise because now i just think i'm just gonna do it <laughs> well i mean like i can't really visualize so much <laughs> what it could look like your idea is gonna be totally different than what i am saying i suppose so it could just be <laughs> Gosh, um, sometimes you say keywords and it just, it makes it so hard to concentrate because <laughs> you said, um, that you couldn't picture it. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> um, cause I don't know either if that line is picture it or visualize. Yes. Um, but we're talking about my Big Fat Greek wedding. It's like her cousin comes in with this like awful bridesmaid's dress and Tula was like, I didn't think we were going to go with that fabric. And her cousin's like, that's just because you couldn't picture it. <laughs> I think about it a lot. I, it's a good one. Yeah, because she's hiding it, and then she reveals her robe. You couldn't visualize. And then the, in the room, there's, like, gasps and, like, oh, but Tula's is, like, oh. <laughs> yeah, everyone, no, more homework. Um, watch my Big Fat Creek wedding. It's a good one. It's worth it. <laughs> I don't know if it's worth it. I think it Do is. Do we only love it because we've always loved it? I think it's good. I think it holds up. Okay. Yeah, the, I don't The sequels are not. Yeah, I haven't tried the sequels. Don't. <laughs> Gosh, I remember, I'm going to have to bleep this person's name, but um, I had not seen my Big Fat Creek Wedding in, like, as a child or as a teen or anything, um, and watched it later on, and I remember it was like, I was more enthusiastic about it than she was, and then later it was like, the sequel was coming out, and she was like, making posts on Instagram about it, like, oh, I'm so excited, you know I love this, whatever, it's like, no you don't, oh! I do! <laughs> And I love it enough to not like the sequel. <laughs> yeah. So I make, um, like, for all the videos that are on this channel, there are always captions. And so um, today was the day that, or the weekend that Shell and I were both going through, like, doing the captions, checking them over, that kind of thing, for the, like, a super long video that came out, I think at this point it would be, like, two weeks ago for what this, when this video will be here. What does a black spot mean? It means that the geometry is clipping through itself. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, super long video, and it's like an hour and a half long, and we have captions for it, but it's always like, when I make a super long video, it's like, so few people, like, mom is going to watch it. <laughs> so if you guys are watching this video, click around and go and watch my hour and a half long video. It's a good one. We talked about Howl's Moving Castle. Mm -hmm. Said the whole name this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah talked about that and we also talked about the art a little bit <laughs> as we do yes yeah it's like when I started this flower I had my doubts because someone commented requesting it and looking at it just at a glance I was just like anemone flowers look like hellebore which is something I had just done so I was not sure if I was gonna be able to just like jump right in and do it right away but it was nice because as I was making this flower, it's like, no, there are some differences. I think that maybe this flower and hellebore might be distant cousins or something, but they are distant enough that I was fine with making it. And like, there's some flavor to it. And the person had asked specifically for the blue kind, so that was nice. Because sometimes it's hard, like with zinnia, I remember I was trying to just choose whichever color I thought was the most appealing, but I was changing my mind a lot, so it was nice to just have that set out, like, you know, this person really likes the blue, and you know what? So do I. Done deal. Um, so I had this one anecdote from, like, a week or two ago, where it's like I was hanging out a lot with the two kids and mom. Like, they're usually on pretty good behavior when they're around their grandmother, but it's sometimes, I don't know, it's like they put her in kind of a Sophie's Choice position, <laughs> because we were hanging out in the backyard, and for the most part, we were down like on ground level, but we have this upper level kind of like patio thing that we can walk to um, from the ground level. And sometimes either one of them will want to be up there. And if mom and I can just be with one of them at a time, then it's fine for like one of them to be down below if they want to and one of them to be 
up above. <laughs> but it was like this particular day, they both really wanted her specifically, and they both wanted to be on separate floors. <laughs> so it's like she had gone indoors to do, like, I don't know, wash her hands or something, and then she came out and had both kids bombarding her, like, Grandma, will you stay down here with me? Like, Grandma, will you come up there with me? <laughs> it's just like, do you guys realize what you're doing to her? No. <laughs> what does she do? I think that she had a reason to be down there to begin with. So the one who wanted to go up just stayed down. Um, yeah, because she was doing some yard work. Gosh, um, speaking of kids, just knowing what not to say. <laughs> so, like, Avery, like, he woke up sick a couple days ago. And a couple days from now, it's going to be Felicity's birthday party. And so it's like Avery had been throwing up and really not feeling well. And Felicity's <laughs> just going off like... Oh my gosh, Avery, are you feeling okay? Do you think you'll be able to go to my birthday in a few days and eat cake and ice cream and all that? Mom, what do you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just like, Felicity is not the time. <laughs> like, no. he's sick right now, but don't try to make him feel sad about it. Yes. <sighs> it's just, it's something you've said, that kids don't have a filter. It's just whatever they're thinking, they need to say it out loud, and it's just their inner thoughts to the world. <laughs> they're good at it. <laughs> These are the leaves? Yeah. Aren't they fun? Very solid fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're talking about now. Yeah. I make four cute little variations. They're my favorite part. They're so weird. And these things are also weird because you'll see when I position everything in a little bit that they are like weirdly right up. It, it's like a scarf instead of a belt. I feel like leaves aren't usually so high up on the petals like right so close to them but these ones are they hmm. really um can't mind their own business <laughs> sometimes you gotta personify yes <laughs> gosh i was thinking about these flowers as being like lily pads having mm. to be aquatic related but that's not really the case is it i see that would be fun and then the knee, they need to be underwater <clears throat> they're underwater flowers yeah it's funny because like with my naming convention of just how i name my files i keep on clarifying in all the file names that this is an anemone <laughs> Nemo! <laughs> this is an anemone flower, um, but I never, I don't have any plans to make an anemone period, you know, like the, the aquatic one, so I don't need to clarify every time that it's the flower in my file names. I've heard another pronunciation of this particular word, <laughs> anemone. Oh, okay. Is that British? <laughs> Said with complete confidence, okay. too. You're thinking about an individual? <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> We went to church today, and then we went to the store to scout out the cupcake slash cake cake <laughs> section. <laughs> yeah, we got to get some cupcakes for the party, and then have cake and ice cream later that day. Oh my gosh. It's just going to be a cakes, cakes day. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. It's just a whole day full of eating. She wants to go to breakfast, and then there's going to be pizza <laughs> at the place, and then she wants to have the Alfredo chicken Alfredo stuff for dinner. <laughs> And then kick an ice cream and then oh and then still go to sleep. And <laughs> she wants that. Yeah. Uh, I want that for her. <laughs> She'll just be this happy Greek eater. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited for her to have some stuff. I got her a little um, tiara crown mm. like headband type thing mm -hmm. to wear for her party. I have her uh, birthday girl shirt. <laughs> I usually get them a, a new shirt for their birthday. They always just keep growing every year. <laughs> What is it about? I don't know. They're so weird. I think they're the only ones who do that. They do. It's like, just stay the size. <laughs> I don't want to have to keep changing these clothes out. No, oh. one, no one else has to do this with kids. I don't think so. Yeah. According to my research. Yes. No, but speaking of um, clothes and changing size and stuff, Michelle and I recently passed down some of our childhood shirts to the kids. Cause, yeah, because I... Um, I got some fabric paint so that they could paint some like shirts that we got at Goodwill. And like the reason I was thinking about that is because I had done that in second grade. I had, we collected leaves, we painted the backs of the leaves, and then we pressed them onto the t-shirts, and it was such a cool effect. And Michelle said that she still had that shirt of mine from second grade. So we pulled it out, and it was like, well, dang, I don't know if we just got a size too small for me when I was that age or what, but it fits Avery, who's um, four? Yeah, four now. <laughs> Anyway, so he, he fits that, but then it's like because he got a fun new old shirt, Felicity was feeling left out, and so Michelle pulled out some of hers from like middle school. I don't know, or maybe we were saying like the clothes shrank or something. But they it's like, could, yeah, but they're, they're just tall. They're so tall, and we, <laughs> I think we're just shorter. 
Yeah. Some of us still are. <laughs> <laughs> she said with love in her heart. <laughs> I mean, like, Felicity's only, like, a foot below you right now. She's, she's, she's gonna be... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She'll feel proud. Is she like... <laughs> she's allowed to be taller than We need she. to do, like, a before of those, like, ants dancing with their nieces oh things gosh. before she gets too big. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, she was so cute in one of my shirts. I had this... It was called Dolls. D-A-W-L-S. And, um... It was like a faux jersey, I guess. And I, that was one of my favorites when I was little. And uh, now she fits it. And she had her leggings on, like her jean-looking leggings. I don't want to say what people call them. And uh, huh. she just looks so cute. <laughs> I, I didn't know you had an issue. I don't know. I just don't. <laughs> it's on the same tier as like Friendsgiving. I don't like that. Okay. Um, jeggings. What about Galentine's? Oh. Just anything that's a combo word you don't like? I don't know. There's just It's just irks me <laughs> something about it <laughs> i'm surprised this hasn't come up i don't it's like it's still just thanksgiving <laughs> they're still just leggings you know what yeah like <laughs> leggings don't change because of their pattern okay they're just leggings they're not jegging they're just like i don't know it just irritates me <laughs> I, th- I understand now My, i thought your issue was just the mouth sound of it mm. uh, i didn't think it was just the concept of like having a specific name for yeah, I yeah. get it. I get it. <laughs> it is such a thing. Like, it was on Instagram a lot when it was Thanksgiving time. It's like, you can have Thanksgiving with your friends. It doesn't change what it is. Yeah. Are you anyway. still thankful? <sighs> Call it something other than Thanksgiving. But if you go to Thanksgiving thanks. with your family, your friends are invited. <laughs> mm-hmm. Are you are you not friends with anyone in your family? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she gets it, guys. <laughs> Yeah, but then she. I also passed down the shirt. It was an older Disney shirt that I. I recently went through all our family photos and digitized them, and I saw it. That wasn't just my shirt. It was also the boys' shirt. So it was. Oh, it cute. passed down through, not generations, <laughs> just through <laughs> the family. <laughs> yeah, it's a hand me down of a hand me down of a hand me down. Exactly. Cute. What else did I give her? I gave her one more. Oh, I think the bee shirt. The bee shirt. <laughs> oh, we have a purple bee shirt. It says, we've got it together. Okay. And it yeah. doesn't have any bee puns in yeah, it. Yeah. We've got it, it together <laughs> and there's just a bee on it. <laughs> it's purple. If you guys have that shirt, maybe it's just a 90s thing. Yeah, more homework. Let us know if <laughs> you, you have that shirt. Maybe post a picture on Lena. <laughs> we've got it together. Is it something? Is it nothing? I don't know. Gosh, it's giving me the um, vibe that, like, because... Our mom watched the cookie jar video that we posted recently, and she was, and we had been kind of prompting her in the video, like, we had a cookie jar similar to this, like, tell us more about it, and so she did in person, she was saying that it was a cookie jar with cookies on it, <laughs> like, that was the decoration, and she was saying that she loved it so much, and she had a friend at one point who was a connoisseur, like, a collector of cookie jars, and um, our mom was trying to just get her into it like I have this really cool one let me show you and this woman was like those are a dime a dozen like so, there's so many like that whatever like it wasn't anything special so now I'm wondering about this um be the purple bee shirt if that is just like yeah every single 90s kid has that but no one wears it anymore <laughs> like we all keep it secret in our little storage yes. <laughs> that we've got it together shirt is just a dime a dozen <laughs> Yona. yes Gosh, I feel like we have a couple like iconic shirts from our childhood <laughs> that we all had hand me downs. Yeah, because you also had a different purple shirt that was a Mardi Gras one. That was cool. Yeah, I have tried searching the terms of that, like just the descriptions of it, so I could find another one. Because I feel like it'd be so cool to have, like a larger size I could just wear right now. <laughs> yeah, or even a small one and give it to the kids, or so we can see it. Yeah, that'd be good. You could always like Photoshop <laughs> onto them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Or just design it yourself. Yeah. We, you everyone can print t-shirts nowadays. Yeah, it's true. Huh. We can make it our own dime a dozen. And we'd get the dimes. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you and your dimes. Entrepreneur. <laughs> <laughs> it's like little hands going to be holding up the flower. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I, I have... wanted to say more to make you not love it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh. That, okay. That right there reminds me of something one of my... Okay, when I was in college, I 
worked in this one office and it was like a weird time of turbulence where in the three years I worked there I had like six different bosses and by the time I was leaving I um, I just thought it was in good taste to write thank you letters to each of the people I had worked for and like some of the others who I didn't work for directly but it was like they were important still anyway so I, I just wrote the most heartfelt letters I could and <laughs> and like handed them off and it was funny because one of <laughs> One of my bosses was saying that she really liked my letter. Like, this particular boss was only, I think she probably would have been your age, Shell. Like, she was not much older than me, and she just was a little bit too honest in saying, like, oh, I really liked your letter. Um, I would have cried if you had just written a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, it felt like I had failed. <laughs> like, I, I felt like she wanted to have cried. Yeah. <laughs> So, I don't know. So that's all I can think of when I think of how I wrote all my letters to my bosses and stuff. It's like, but I didn't make any of them cry. <laughs> Just got pretty close with one. Not you close try harder next time. <laughs> yeah. So next time if it seems like, oh, the petals are going to be held up by the leap, like, make me cry. Because you, you failed. <laughs> you wrote me a letter that didn't make me cry. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I have this stem. I put it at kind of a tilt because I was thinking... I wanted the petals to be facing toward the camera, but you'll see in a second that that was a bunk decision. Actually, I don't know if I'm going to do it in a second. You'll see in a few minutes. <laughs> you'll see in an hour. It's a bunk decision because it covers up all the leaves, so I'm going to have to go through a process of just straightening up that stem, and these flowers are versatile. Some of them have really crooked stems. Some of them are straight, so it's I wasn't breaking any of my rules. <laughs> Um, I watched your short of the cookie jar recently, mm -hmm. and... Like, as I was walking in here, right? Was it? You were looking at one of my shorts when I walked into your room. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Way to put me on blast. <laughs> um, no, I... Maybe it was before you came in, but not, like, right before. <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so defensive. Okay. I was just asking my sister a question, I thought... <laughs> Anyway, that's not the point. <laughs> Let's talk about the timeline a little bit more. <laughs> All right, put the kids to bed. No. All right, so I was watching your um, editing of the, the fast one on the short. Okay. And you you have this, the same perspective with your moving around and editing, and you like get, you can look at it, and at one point, you're upside down! Mm. And it's like, you, you didn't do that before, um, and it's just like, no, the lid's gonna fall. <laughs> like, the split second of upside down is like, no, you can't, you can't edit upside down, the lid will fall off. Like, oh my gosh, I love that. <laughs> and it's just like, I was thinking about it, it's like, yeah, I don't know how often you just flip things all the way around their faces, mm -hmm. but I guess we're kind of underneath, but yeah. it's still like, you know, the, pr I'm oh like no, you just did it, see? Yeah. <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> Gravity, <laughs> is everything tucked on? <laughs> Yeah, that's interesting. I like, I like that thought. And it's like, he, um, I don't know. That reminds me of. I told you before that when I read books, I think <laughs> when I when I set it down or I walk away, that my characters are just on pause. Like big war scene. Okay, I gotta close my book. They're just like frozen in the middle of a, a sword <laughs> swing or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then you just you had that same <laughs> thought recently with something you're reading too. Oh, wait, what was it then? It was. During dinner, I think? I'm not sure. Oh, I don't know. We've been reading a book. Um, reading some K.M. Shea books. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I can't remember. Maybe they're just having a discussion. Or was she falling through the ceiling? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Before yeah. she hits the ground. <laughs> oh, close the book and she's in midair. Yeah. I think it's like mine are just, like, if something is too boring and I keep, like, closing the book, it's like, well, this conversation has lasted a whole week. <laughs> it's like, it's just five minutes of reading. <laughs> Or like uh, your friends at Red Pied and Prejudice, and like they've been walking around this room. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and it wasn't. I I know, right? Like I I thought they were so well read when it's I was like in high school. Ten around the room for the full half of a book. It's like Pauline. It was a chapter, <laughs> a natural conversation. Mm -hmm. It was all good. <laughs> Just read one book. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> um, I feel like there was one other thought I had about the book that I forgot to say yesterday. Um, <laughs> just the, the, the twist, and sometimes you see the fingers reaching for it. <laughs> they're like, oh my gosh, they're, they're like Little Mermaid. Oh! The hands reaching out to grab Ariel as she's swimming through. Yes. Oh my gosh. We've been watching a lot of Little Mermaid lately. <laughs> yeah, the 
kids are enjoying it. And Avery, we have the golden book of Little Mermaid, and Avery wants us to read that every night in his room. <laughs> Sorry, you're having a thought. It was... Oh, yeah, one extra thought that I had in our book club um, book. So, I don't know, I might cut this out of the voiceover, because it's not really relevant to anything happening. But, um, yeah, I was surprised that... Okay, because in the book, two characters got into a fight, and... It's a Beauty and the Beast um, re- version, different kind of version, and so it's like all the staff in the place are really invested in these two characters getting along because that will break the curse, but the girl doesn't know that. It's the same as in the movie, but um, anyway, it's like they had an argument, and then they resolved things like while they were having dinner, and it's like rich people, old-timey thing, so it's like there was a full complement of staff like around observing this dinner. And it was like, they were talking about really personal stuff. And it's like, I don't think I would be able to resolve a fight in public and be like, oh, you just are saying this because you don't know anything about my family. It's like, oh, tell me about your family. Like, okay, I'll tell you and this dozen people mm-hmm. watching us. Like, it's just so, is it just because she knows them well or is it she's just thinking of them as furniture in that moment? I don't know. <laughs> so I remember that in one of the um, <laughs> a Pride and Prejudice spinoff kind of thing we watched where it was like, uh, something really dramatic happened, and one of the characters is like crying and collapsing, but not not in an unhealthy way. But it's like there are guards around, like at doors and stuff, who are just observing this because it's not for them to react to. It's like she would want one of her family members to come over because it's like those guards at the doors, they're just furniture. Like they're just there to be stared at. And what movie are you talking about? It was in one of the Pride and Prejudice. Um, it was the one where Wickham is accused of murder. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I, can't, I think it was Mer- Death Comes to Pemberley or something. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Which sounds silly, guys, but it's good. It's like it a three. It's a good one. It's a three episode murder mystery that's yeah. Pride and Prejudice themed. Yeah, it's later on when um, Mr. Darcy and Lizzie have kids. Or one kid? Just one so Just far. One kid, yeah. Uh, they think she was pregnant at the end of it. Yeah. Yeah. We were there for that scene of it. <laughs> the conception, probably. <laughs> Like, cause we read Pride and Prejudice, and then we watched um, the movie with our mom, and then we um, also watched some of those, and it was like that spinoff just had one sex scene in it, and it was just like, okay, <laughs> like we're here with our mother, thank you. Mm-hmm. But then we had a fun lightning show to watch. Was mm-hmm. that the same day? Twas. Yeah, it was so distracting the lightning that it was like we were still in the middle of our our uh, movie. But the lightning kept flashing. We could see the reflection on the TV that we ended up just like with our heads upside down, like watching the lightning. It was fun. <laughs> yeah, because I think actually no, that was for when we were watching the 2005 Pride and Prejudice, and we we're like, we've seen this already, but we haven't seen this lightning before. <laughs> you yes. can always buy a new apartment, but you can't buy a new dinner party. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let me find it. Let me find it. Um, it's the office. Yeah, yes. like it's yours to know. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> I think I must have gotten a few words off, or else you would have known it just immediately. Probably. You said dinner party. <laughs> Gosh. Um, anyone who is... Um, in, in, put it in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what the, if you like the dinner party episode of The Office, or if you really don't like it. Oh. <laughs> and if you don't like it, watch some of the bloopers, because the actors are... <laughs> They had such fun doing those. Some of those, some of them said that was their favorite episode. <laughs> yeah. They had a lot of laughs. So you might be like my sister and enjoy it, or you might be like me and you had friends in college who really enjoyed it and then made their friends suffer, who didn't even watch the show and like had them watch this thing that, like we had no, we had no pain threshold for the awkwardness to even like watch a normal episode of The Office. And that one is just like the height. <laughs> Of yeah, it. You didn't know the characters yet. I guess I'm thinking also of, um, it's not the height of awkwardness, because there was that one that I had to walk out on, um, where, with Scott's tots, and he yes. just promised scholarships to all these kids, and then he had to <laughs> take back that offer, because he didn't just know how co- expensive college is. Yeah. I had to leave. <laughs> so yeah, comment if you like The Office, or if you don't like The Office. We'll just talk about it. And if you don't like The Office, then just unfollow right now. No! <laughs> No, I guess if you like The Office, go to Michelle's channel, and then she can just talk only about The Office. <laughs> I mean, I've seen it quite a few times, but I don't know that it's, like, my favorite show ever. My favorite shows ever are Gilmore Girls. Since <laughs> you guys asked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell us more. 
<laughs> uh, Veronica Mars is definitely on there. <laughs> what else do I just love? Friends? I don't know if I love Friends so much anymore. Mm. It, I don't know. It sucks because I feel like when more people like start liking things that I've always liked, <laughs> it makes me not like them as much. I see. You know? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to... I, I know I have examples of that, but I can't think of any. <laughs> <laughs> like, Friends is coming back around for so many people. It's like, well... Maybe I don't like it as much as I thought I did. <laughs> but I did like it a lot when I was younger. Sometimes it's nice to just have that like in the past. And it's okay to just let it stay in the past. Yeah. I was so Okay, wait. Oh, okay. I'm doing this thing. I think I'm changing the color, but I'm not. I'm on the normal map. And I'm like, what is going on here? Because it's, it's make, doing weird things with the shadows because it's the normal map. It's just that the normal map is always this light purple color that is the same color as oh. what I'm working with here. So I just scroll down and figure it out eventually. <laughs> okay. Like, I wanted to change the color a little, and you saw I was just doing weird flashes. <laughs> yes. That has never happened to me before, but I just I realized that I have never done this exact shade of light purple. <laughs> you should do one of the flowers that's like, million petals uh-huh. like the carnations or yeah <laughs> <laughs> etc <laughs> name just one other okay because hydrangea oh that's one um i did lilac but it's in my it's in my real footage stuff so that's something i'm editing still um Rose also has a bajillion petals. Yeah, but I'm thinking of like the little, you know, like the big puff balls where it's just so many yeah. teeny tiny. Hydrangea. Hydrangea. What did I say? <laughs> carnation. Carnation. I'm thinking now, like, is carnation even? I don't know. <laughs> Put it in the comments. <laughs> Help us out, guys. I'm really struggling this week. <laughs> yeah, I can make a multi. Uh, I mean, I did a clover, a four leaf clover. Those things yeah. had so many on them. You did. It was tough. But yeah, I have plans. I made a little tutorial on how to make a tulip and a tulip tutorial. Oh. <laughs> anyway, but I have been considering making a rose because I feel like that's also a popular flower. Um, yes. I decided to go with tulip because it was far simpler than considering like recording and explaining my process of arranging a bajillion petals of a rose. It just didn't sound fun to me. But tulip is good. Yes. Tulip is simple. But also leave your comments to make her make fictional flowers, like the jellyfish flower that she's going to make next week. Yeah. Not next week. <laughs> no. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. <clears throat> ba-dum-bum, ba-dum-bum.